What's one thing guys tend to get wrong about you when they, if they take an interest in you? To be honest, I think I've got quite lucky with guys. I don't think That's anyone's, good. no one's ever been really disrespectful to me. If they are, I just block them. But yeah, of course. That's literally never happened. I yeah. never have to. Um, I do get often, people say to me, I give off that vibe. Like they what wouldn't vibe? come at me on that approach because they know I'm not that kind of person. Okay. If that makes sense. So as in they wouldn't come up with the, come to you with what approach? With kind of like a friends with benefits vibe. Right, right. They just wouldn't. That's a good thing though. Yeah. If you're giving that energy. Yeah. Because I think most girls probably don't want to give that energy and they, some do. Yeah. Mistake. That's what I'm, so I, I feel like, I don't know if, I don't know if this happens quite often, but I personally have been quite lucky in that sense. Right. Um, that I've Every guy's come to, to you has been like, oh, I'm actually interested in you. Yeah. And taking this to a level. Potentially. Yeah. It's never been like, it's always been, let's go on a date. It's never been, let's go chill. Or mm. let's, do you know what I mean? It's never yeah. ever been that. I mean, I've only been single for 11 months. It could yeah. happen. Might be happening right now. Those DMs might be popping off. Be Maybe. like, yo, come chill. You're blocking me out, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like I've just been lucky in that sense. And I don't know if it's something that I do or mm. it's just my luck. I think, um, I think your energy and how, obviously I'm only going from this conversation, but I think how you conduct yourself and especially how you talk about your relationships, what you th what you feel about dating, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. It paints the picture of, oh, well, this is a serious kind of girl. She's not open to X, Y, and Z. Yeah. In which guys would be like, cool, well, I know if I'm going to pursue this avenue with her, then I know it's got to be this. Otherwise, it's not that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So for girls who maybe want to give that energy that you, you know, you invite that serious investment into your life with mm -hmm. men, what advice would you give them? For women? Yeah. Honestly, I think know yourself. Like I know what I bring to the table. Mm. I know what I won't accept and I know what I will accept. Mm. And like you said, <clears throat> this time thing, like I really, really value my time. Mm. I'm not going to give my time to anyone. Like I, I have, I think, I think women, especially nowadays as well, they need to really focus on what they want in life. Mm -hmm. um, in any sense as well, career, family time, every every aspect of your life. And only once you know what you want, yeah, you will be able, because once you know what you want, you'll be able to filter out the process. So if someone comes at you on an approach where they're just looking for one thing and that's not what you're looking for, it's so, going to be so much easier to just be like, you're not, you're a great guy. You're not what I'm looking for. So move on to the next. But how, how do you know that though? Cause I think so many, I think so many women know they want a serious relationship, mm. but they keep getting in entanglements with these guys who aren't looking for something serious. I think they get in entanglements because they're open from the beginning. Mm. It depends how that guy's approached you. Sure. What have you allowed? for it to get to that stage mm, interesting do you know yeah so like what's one thing you would be like i wouldn't allow this because i know it goes down this avenue so for example a guy say a situation where a guy and a girl meet mm. the girl really fancies the guy mm. and she wants him to slide into her dms and yeah. wants to talk to him all the time yeah he doesn't mind sliding into her dms but he's not looking for anything serious mm. he might slide and she might just lose all of her values and her standards just because she wants to talk to that guy. So now she's willing to do everything that that guy wants right. just so she can talk to him. Very true. That happens. Yeah. Where it's like, if you respect yourself and value yourself enough and know what you want, mm. you'll say to yourself, well, I don't want this. And he, this is my standards. If he's not willing to meet that standard, I'll move on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's a, I think it's about knowing it's kind of a compromise, but but not willing to, like you said earlier, mm. let him be in full control of what's determining going on. what it is. Yeah, yeah. So if you know, like, it's just about control. To be honest, not control, but knowing what you're going to accept and what you're not going to accept. Don't don't lower your standards just so you can talk to that guy. Yeah, it's funny because I think 
I think women have raised their standards in terms of what guys they find themselves attracted to, mm. but they've lowered their standards in terms of the treatment they're willing to accept from a guy that they're into. Yeah. Um, and this is why I say kind of, not saying people shouldn't have standards, but having high standards, like mm. really high standards can be a double-edged sword. Because if you have such high standards that only one in a thousand men actually meet that criteria for you to give an opportunity. Yeah. That one guy that you meet in every thousand, you're going to tolerate more things that maybe you shouldn't mm. just for that guy because that guy is so hard to find in your eyes. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm. And like you said, he might show that he's actually not investing in you or just kind of keep things casual when you want something serious or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let me ask you a question. Um, <laughs> has getting attention from men ever been part of the reason you go out? Go out. Like go out to a bar, to a club? No. Never? No. Okay. I just, no, I don't go out for attention. If I'm going out, there's going to be a reason. So it's a birthday or we're just all fancy going out. Like, don't get me wrong. Mm. I know when I go out, tension will be received. Yeah. But it, it's not, I wouldn't go out purposely to seek attention. I guess not, not seek attention, but more. Okay, so, okay, let me ask you this. Let's say... You just want to go out because you just want to have a dance, right? Mm. You just want to go have a good time. Are you more likely to go to a mixed club where there's going to be guys and girls? Or are you more likely to go to a girls only club? Do they have girls only clubs? Yeah, starting to, yeah. I wasn't aware of this. Yeah, I mean, I have my own thoughts about it. <laughs> um, not bad thoughts, but... Is it a lesbian bar? There might be some, okay. yeah. I mean, are you more likely to go to a lesbian bar? No. More like to go to an all-girls club over a mixed club? Thing is, I I love men and I appreciate men. Yeah. I love, I think they play a big role in society. Mm. I might get hated for this. I, I believe that we need men. <laughs> <laughs> I love she's like, I am I might get hated for saying that we need the opposite gender. Because I feel like there's such a hatred towards men. Mm. Like this whole feminist movement. I'm, mm. I am a feminist, but I'm mm. not, I, I'm, I'm more of an equality person rather yeah. than women should do more than men or men should be more than women. Yes. And I really appreciate and understand the value that men have in, in our society today. Mm. And I love being around men. Mm. Not, and doesn't say, it sounds weird when I say it, but what I mean by that is they bring a different vibe to your The energy normal. they bring. Yeah. Sure. So you go to the mixed club. I would go to the mixed club, but okay. I could have a good time. If I get attention, I'm going to leave happy. If I don't get attention, I'm still going to leave happy. I still of had a course. good time. Yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. I guess the reason I ask that is because it's not about getting attention from guys, but it's like you can still get energy from men yeah. without having to want to pursue something from them. And maybe some getting that energy can feel nice. And there's nothing wrong with that because guys like, I'm giving this to you because I like your energy. I like your vibe. I like the way you look. So yeah, take it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whereas obviously a woman's only club, that's not going to happen. And the thoughts I have about that, I'd, I'd be very curious to know how successful it is because there are a lot of, a lot of clubs operate where men are picking up the tab and women get in for free. But in that club, women are having to pay. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's successful or not. But, the thing yeah. is, I have no issue paying when I go out. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah. But what I, I guess what I mean is like, you know, for a lot of clubs, especially if they're high end clubs, the guy yeah. has to book a table uh, and get a bottle and yep. girls are, and girls get in for free. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I wonder if, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe women would rather pay to be away from men than <laughs> to go in <laughs> Listen, free and just be there. around them. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to it. Um, yeah. I'll definitely go out if someone, if my crowd who I'm with want to go there, I'd go. Yeah. It probably, if I'm being totally honest, I probably wouldn't suggest to go there. Okay. Just because I think fi things are fine the way they are. Like, I don't mm. feel like I need, there needs to be a change. But if it was a thing where now, like, the girls club, all girls club is a thing. Yeah. And it's a vibe. And yeah. we enjoy our time going there more. Mm. Then I'll go. Yeah. Let's be facts. Be facts. Uh, what's one last thing you'd like to ask into some conversation? Ooh. What are you looking for? What do you Let's mean, in this swap podcast? it, yeah. No, well, in, in this, this podcast, podcast or in life? In life. 
What it, am I for, looking for? Your for your person, like your person. Are you looking? Oh, like what, what do I find attractive in a person? Yeah. Uh, emotional intelligence, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, somebody who looks after themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a standard for myself physically. Yeah. Um, so I value that, of course. Um, I said emotional intelligence, emotional maturity, for sure. You know, and I think someone who's open-minded. Mm. Um, because I like, you know, I'm quite open-minded, even though I seem quite opinionated. Um, but I love having those kind of discussions. Um, and I'll be honest, like in every relationship, I've always been the masculine person in the relationship. So I'm looking for a feminine woman. That's the truth. Yeah. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.